Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we explore the metaverse and check out Lama 2. Lama 2 is a new family of language models released by Meta in partnership with Microsoft, with a free commercial license allowing for near GPT-4 capabilities at a fraction of the cost. Or so they say. Let's dive in and find out more. So, Lama 2 is the next generation of open source large language models, also referred to as LLMs. But what is a large language model? In simple terms, it's an AI system that has learned complex language skills by analyzing lots of text, allowing it to have more human-like conversations. Popular examples of LLMs include GPT that powers ChatGPT and Bing AI, Palm created by Google and used for Google AI Bard, and Claude by Anthropic used to power its chatbot 22 that was released recently. Lama 2 is free for research and commercial use, but of course with a caveat that we'll talk about later in the video. You can download the model directly from their website here, then you will be required to fill your details and wait for access to the model. You can also access the model from the Hugging Face platform and test it out on Perplexity Labs that has all the variants available. Lama 2 comes with three models, 7B, their fastest model, which is the best for quick responses, 13B, its intermediate model, and 70B, the most powerful model that is trained for chatting. Lama 2 was trained on 40% more data than Lama 1 and has doubled the context length around 4,000. Further, the pre-trained models were trained on 2 trillion tokens and fine-tuned models have been trained on over 1 million human preferences to make them great at conversations. On benchmarks, we see that Lama 2 outperforms other open source language models like MPT and Falcon on reasoning, Cody, proficiency, and knowledge tests. However, this is not an exhaustive list of models available. The benchmark also shows that Lama 2 outperforms its predecessor. Meta also has a broad range of supporters around the world who believe in their open approach to today's AI, such as Microsoft, Spotify, AWS, IBM, Hugging Face, Intel, AMD, Accenture, Zoom, among others. So, why did Meta choose to open source their new Lama 2 model? Now, I know what you're thinking. Lama 2. That sounds like a sequel that nobody asked for. Well, buckle up because Lama is bringing some serious drama. You see, Lama 2 builds on Meta's previous Lama 1 model, which was supposed to be for academic use only. But really, anyone could download it. Now, companies can open source things for various reasons. Sometimes it's to get help in improving their product. Other times it's a marketing play to look all hip and progressive. Occasionally, it's even an attempt to undermine their competitors by turning the technology to a commodity. But let's hear what Mark Zuckerberg, the CEO of Meta, has to say about their reasoning to go open source. Llama, or the language model underlying this, is, is basically going to be the engine that powers that. The reason to open source it is that, um, as, as we did with, um, with the, the first version, is that it uh, basically it, it unlocks a lot of innovation in the ecosystem. We'll, we'll make our products better as well. Um, and also gives us a lot of valuable feedback on security and safety, which is important for making this good. But yeah, I mean, the, the, the work that we're doing to advance the infrastructure, it's, um, it's basically at this point taking it beyond a research project into something which is ready to be kind of core infrastructure, not only for our own products, but, um, you know, hopefully for, for a lot of other things out there too. As you ponder on that one, let's check out their license for even more clues. Here we see that you are granted an, an exclusive worldwide, non-transferable, royalty-free limited license under Meta's intellectual property and other rights owned by Meta. If we read further down under additional commercial terms, we see that companies with more than 700 million monthly active users in the preceding calendar month must request a license from Meta to use Lama 2, which is not guaranteed. What this means is that large companies will have to pay to use Lama 2. This is the way for Meta to try and slow down Google and Microsoft and other big dogs in AI. As for their smaller versions of Lama 2, it seems like a classic premium move to get developers hooked on the free drug, then make them pay for other services later. Meta's probably unwilling to sell large custom llamas and hosted services down the line, but we shall wait and see. Of course, we can't forget the PR angle. Meta wants to rebuild its image after years of privacy scandals and rebrand itself as an innovative AI leader. Though, not sure if that's going to go as planned. Following its move to be more open, 
Meta released Lama 2 with a more in-depth paper that can be downloaded from their website, unlike the scanty papers we get from other models like GPT and Claude. It begins by introducing Lama 2 as a new family of pre-trained and fine-tuned LLMs. These fine-tuned versions called Lama 2 Chat are optimized for dialogue. Lama 2 models outperform other open source chatbots and appear to be competitive with closed source models based on limited evaluations. On pre-training, they used 2 trillion tokens of public data, which included a new mix of data from publicly available sources, which they say does not include data from Meta's products and services. But let's hear what the CEO said about this. We're using some more data to train it um, from across our services. Well, I don't know about you, but that sounded to me like they used data from Meta's services. Anyway, the paper doesn't specify where the public data was gotten from, though it says that they have made an effort to remove data from certain sites known to contain a high volume of personal information about private individuals. On academic benchmarks, Lama 2 outperforms Lama 1 and other open source models like MPT, Falcon, and Bloom. Lama 2's 70p variant is competitive with closed source models like GPT-3 and Palm on many benchmarks, but still lags behind the very largest models like GPT-4 and Palm-2L. Lama 2 has been optimized for dialogue through supervised fine-tuning and reinforcement learning with human feedback, RLHF. In human evaluations and helpfulness, Lama 2 chat outperformed other open source chatbots across thousands of prompts and narrowly beat ChatGPT on helpfulness. On safety tests, Across 2,000 plus combative prompts, Lama 2 chart had lower variation rates than other models like MPT, Falcon, and Vicuna. It was comparable to ChatGPT. Fine-tuned Lama 2 chart a substantially outperformed pre-trained and instructor-tuned versions of truthfulness and toxicity benchmarks. Safety First was the main focus for Meta with this new model and has been mentioned 299 times in this paper with reinforcement learning from human feedback as part of the tests that Meta ran to ensure that Lama 2 chat avoids going off the rails during challenging conversations. They wanted to build an AI we can trust. On safety benchmarks and human evaluations, Lama 2 chat models appear comparable and better than existing open and closed source chatbots. Lama 2 is further fine-tuned for safety using supervised data through over 1 million human preferences context distillation, as well as having a shared approach to improve model safety. Meta's team has tuned them to become your new BFFs with their engaging and harmless banter or so they say. However, there are some limitations like the potential for unsafe outputs and a focus on English words. It also describes on their responsible release strategy that while many companies have opted to build AI behind closed doors, they are releasing Lama 2 openly to encourage responsible AI innovation, and that the open approach will draw upon collective wisdom, diversity, and ingenuity. Comparing Lama 2, ChatGPT, and Google Bard's AI, ChatGPT is powered by GPT 3.5 for the free version, and GPT 4 in the paid ChatGPT Plus version. ChatGPT was the first mover in the AI chatbot space with key strengths such as a polished interface text generation abilities, and its wide array of plugins and integrations. Some drawbacks are the cost for full features on the paid version at $20 a month and its limited knowledge cutoff of September 2021. Google Bad AI, on the other hand, runs on Google's Palm 2 model and leverages real-time internet connection. It excels at answering questions and research tasks but can sometimes provide inaccurate responses. Its strengths include its intuitive interface, pinned conversations, location-based responses, and tight integration with other Google products. It's also currently free to use. Meta's Llama is an open-source foundational model for conversational AI by providing variants fine-tuned for dialogue. Excelling in back-and-forth charts and adaptable responses, it's suitable for customer service, learning, creative writing, and data analytics. The comprehensive release paper shows Meta's commitment to responsible AI development with safety measures that aim to make Llama more helpful, harmless, and honest, but risks remain with powerful generative models. Meta acknowledges the potential for harmful behavior despite safety interventions. There are still concerns around biases, misinformation, and limited capabilities 
outside conversational domains. Lama 2's impact will rely on the community's participation to provide feedback, surface issues, and drive improvements. ChatGPT4 is still the better option when it comes to crucial applications that require high intelligence and creativity. While Lama 2 is better for simpler tasks like generating content for casual social media accounts. It is new and minimalistic, but not yet a true competitor. Noteworthy though is that it's also available for free download and can be customized to the organization's needs and comes with a free commercial license. Kudos to Meta for going open source. The feature looks exciting as this new generation of AI continues to develop from ChatGPT, Cloud2, Google Bad AI, Bing AI, and now Lama 2. The AI landscape continues to grow ever more competitive and innovative. Ultimately though, how Lama 2 is used will determine whether this new Lama is a leader or just an imposter following the hand. Stay tuned for more insights and updates. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.